On June 11th, 2016, I went to Gay Pride with my fiance, and it was the first time him and I have gone there since getting engaged. I have to admit that I am afraid to hold his hand in public. I am afraid to kiss him in public. There has always been a little fear in the back of my head that every time we go to a gay club or go to a pride event or go to the gay pride parade that there's a chance someone might harm us. But I usually have tried to push that away and say that no, I'm being paranoid. California is a safe place and the United States is tolerant and the world is changing. I went to bed that night with my fiance at my side and happiness and joy and love in my heart and I woke up the next morning and my heart was broken. What happened in Orlando is not just the deadliest terrorist attack in the United States since 9-11. It's not just the deadliest mass shooting in American history. It is the worst hate crime against the gay community we have ever seen in this country. 50 people were lost because of who they are and who they love. 53 more people were injured for that same reason. No one should fear for their life or bury their child or lose their own life because they are gay or trans or black or white or Hispanic or Muslim or Christian. My heart is absolutely broken, but my spirit is not. I am proud to be an LGBT American and no one can ever take that away from me. I will not stop going to gay clubs. I will not stop going to LA Pride. I will not stop holding my fiance's hand in public because I'm scared. I'm not going to stop loving my fiance. I'm not going to stop dreaming of a country where this does not happen anymore. I will dedicate my entire life to fighting all forms of hatred and bigotry. And if I ever lose my life to that fight, then I will die with peace and pride in my heart. Because you can break our hearts and you can kill our bodies, but you will not break our spirit. So please, if you are watching this and you feel lost right now, if you feel overwhelmed with grief and anger, please don't give up. Please don't be afraid to be who you are. Don't be afraid to love the person you're in love with. Don't be afraid to wear all the colors that you want. Don't be afraid to hold someone's hand or kiss someone because we cannot let things like this change who we are or make us ashamed of who we are. We will not live in fear. We will not apologize for being alive and we're not going to be ashamed to love because love will always trump hate. So no matter where you live, go out there and be proud of who you are and live every single day with courage and love inside your heart.